Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 314, known as the Black Knights, based at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, became the first Marine F-35C squadron to achieve full operational capability July 1, the Marine Corps said in a statement. The F-35C is flown by both the Navy and Marine Corps and is designed to operate as part of a Navy carrier air wing. It has a larger wingspan and longer range to meet the demands of carrier operations. Nimitz-class carriers, Harrell said, need to have stronger deflectors installed on their flight decks to handle the jet blast of the F-35C single engine. Some interior spaces on the ships also have to be refurbished for F-35 missions. All of the Navy's current Osprey squadrons operate out of Naval Air Station North Island since only West Coast carriers are currently configured to deploy with F-35s. The stealthy F-35 brings new capabilities to the air wings, according to pilots who've flown them. Advanced sensors, communications and touchscreen cockpit controls makes the jets easy to fly, a Marine Corps pilot told the Union Tribune last year. This allows pilots to focus on their missions. The fighters are the most expensive weapon system ever fielded by the Pentagon and are expected to cost more than $1 trillion to operate and maintain over their lifetime. In addition to the F-35 retrofit, the Navy said, the Roosevelt will also receive upgrades to its self-defense system, its 25mm machine gun and its computer network. Nimitz-class nuclear aircraft carriers have service lives of 50 years but require frequent maintenance and technological upgrades, including a one-time, multi-year midlife refueling that is done on the East Coast. Some maintenance is routinely performed pierside in San Diego, but more involved maintenance necessitates occasional work in Bremerton. The Puget Sound Naval Shipyard has the only dry dock on the West Coast large enough for Nimitz-class carriers. The Abraham Lincoln arrived in San Diego in January 2020 after a 10-month round-the-world deployment following its midlife refueling and maintenance in Norfolk.